Ah, uh, hello, it's, it's like the last day of school. Welcome to day 159, and you're like, you might be like, whoa, where are your glasses? Well, these are my glasses. These were my glasses, you know. The ones that were broke. But I sort of got something yesterday. I got a new pair. So now all I just need is my tripod so I can actually put this still and make like a dramatic reveal. Here are my brand new glasses. Ba 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 ba. They look better in real life, I swear. These are my new glasses. I wanted something different, you know, like one with like a frame on the bottom instead of just the top. Because now I'm like used to glasses and it's like, I kind of just wanted to change. And these ones, I don't know. They, they spoke to me and I enjoy them. I know everybody else likes my old ones better, but uh, whatever. I like these ones. School starts at 8, but that's just the makeup exam from 8 to 10. And I think that the breakfast thing that my school is doing starts at 9. And I don't know if I'm going. I think I am, but it's like I'm not 100% sure. This is the end of part 8. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be like the last daily vlog for a while. Unless I decide to start doing them over the summer, but it's like my life's not interesting enough, as you can saw, as you've seen by, uh, by Monday. So I'm leaving at 8.40 to go to the breakfast thing, I thought to say dinner, and I was like, that's not right. So, I have about half an hour to kill. So, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do at this hour. A half hour, same, same difference. The last day, the 20th. Walking in circles around the school while I'm waiting for my friends to get here, yeah. Jazz hands. The final time that we'll be seeing that car. And it's over. Ah, school is over. My sophomore year is over. That's so weird. I feel like turning off the light and I don't know why. I guess because it's like, it's a little bit offsetting. There's like the blue and the orange-ish. Ah, oh, that's a little bit better. Um, but yeah, that was the last day of school. I'm sorry for not filming at all. Just, there wasn't really much to film. I mean, we just kind of sat down and ate around for like... Trying to find a good angle, sat around and ate around for like an hour. Then after that, I went to an awards ceremony, and I actually got an award to my surprise. I think, it, like, the teacher said that it was because I was in the al algebra honors class, and I took a test. Glad to know that could be easily replaced with literally anybody in the, you know, combined class. There's like 30 people that got a, that award. I didn't even get um, present every single day. Perfect attendance, that's the word. Although, then again, I do think I missed a day very early on, like the second week. Um, but, oh well. I, I had fun. It was enjoyable. It's over. It's so weird. My sophomore year is over. I'm... It's such a weird feeling. What is that? Oh, Jason. Such a weird feeling. It's over. All this, this year is over. But I'll get to more on that in just a second. I'll have to like set it up on a tripod and then I have like the 20 minutes of just talking about the year and I'm like, oh, such a great year, you know, like just... So if you're not interested in that, you should probably just leave now. Excuse you, little spider. Uh, what are you doing in my room? Little spider, focus. Little spider, what are you doing in my room? Now you're invisible. Why are you coming to my camera? Oh god, that almost fell and that's my fault. I'm so sorry, please don't come and haunt me. Wow, you can't even see it. It's like a little speck. He's on the moon, oh, he's, he's, he's a skull kid. Little spider. Oh god, where'd it go? There it is. Is that another one? Oh no, that's just some dust. Ah, a set tripod and a camera that's recording. Now it's time for the long speech about my sophomore year. Now what should I start off first? Okay, I'm just gonna go through my classes. Um, I'm gonna go with all the classes that I had just in my first semester and then go through the classes I had just in my second semester and then go through the classes that I had all year. My first class in my first semester was computer coding. Now, I didn't really know how to code. This is like the first time I even kind of attempted. This is also a new teacher's um, class. So it was like, okay, so I don't exactly know how this teacher plays out. This, te this teacher can either be like really awesome or really horrible, you know? They don't know him yet. He turned out to be really awesome and the majority of the class, I'm just gonna say it right now, they didn't really work. They just kind of played games on their iPad, and because, like, they I guess they were racing or whatever, like, this is just an example, I know for a fact one of them was racing him. They were racing, but they were doing that, so it looked like they were typing, so they were like, oh, I am typing my code. 
but there's only about three people in my class that actually work. That was computer coding. I loved that class to death. I always got there early in the morning, and I was usually the first person there, maybe the second every once in a while, but I was almost always very early in that class, and I played my 3DS a lot. I played through Kirby's Triple Deluxe, like, throughout that entire year. Like, I pretty much played it exclusively in that class, or, like, before that class. At school, I think that was the first game that I played for the majority in public instead of at home. And just, I... I I loved that class so much, like it felt, it felt connected, you know, like you can talk and it didn't matter, you know, like, like in the good way, in the good way, you can talk and it didn't matter, in the good way, but it just felt so connected and felt so brotherly. And then the only other class that I had in just my first semester was, sorry about that, and then the other class that I had in only my first semester was environmental science, which was pretty much biology 2.0 or maybe even Biology 1.5. I don't know, but it was pretty much the exact same class and pretty much the exact same seating arrangement, so it's like, I didn't see a difference, you know? I feel like there's... I didn't see new glasses pun somewhere in there, but eh, I don't feel like figuring it out. Anyway, that class was kind of interesting. Like, you would think that that class would be one of the better classes because Biology was one of the better classes last year, but I just had so many good classes this year. Almost all my classes that I had have been the best versions of those classes that I've had in my life. So, I mean, I should probably get to this after I'm done with all of them. But anyway, this was a great year, but I'll be in more in depth in, in just a few minutes. Anyway, that was environmental science. It was, it was good. I mean, the scavenger hunts were great. Uh, if I started vlogging then, those would have been great. Those would have been like the best vlogs. Um, I wish I did. I wish I started vlogging so much sooner than I did. It would have been, it would have been so much more entertaining to watch, but, oh well. That's what junior is going to be for, junior and senior. They're going to be great. Um, then, after environmental science, that's, well, all the classes that he had in just the first semester. And then the second semester, the first class that I had, the first period where, um, computer coding was, I had Anish, uh, Anish, Honors English too, and that class was oddly, ex like, extremely easy. You would think that it was, like, the lowest version of the class, because it's like, there was not much work required, but it's like, you needed to try, you know? Like, if you didn't try, you would have failed, but if you tried, you pretty much got a guaranteed 95 or above average. Like, I'm pretty sure every single person in that class had the ability to exempt, but I don't think anybody did because of how easy the final was and how short and how the fact that you didn't even have to come to school to actually do it was, it was, it was the best. You just had to email it to him. You didn't even have to come to school at 8 in the morning, so, I mean, that, that's what I would do if I was a teacher. I wouldn't force my kids to come to school when they didn't have to and it would just be unnecessarily complicated for them. Anyway, that was that class. I loved that teacher. Oh, back to environmental science. That teacher was great. Um, she was, she was a joy to be in class with. Fast forward back to this class. This teacher, he was the headmaster of the school, so he was very busy. Like, every once in a while he would just, like, stand up and leave because he had his headmaster duties to attend to. And it felt very real life. You know, it's like, you never, you never know who's going to be there. He could leave at any time, so it's like, I mean, that's pretty much real life. I mean, there's no, well, nowhere else to put that. I mean, real life is in a set, nice, pretty schedule. It's kind of everywhere. Um, there's a bit of variety in life. I mean, I hear that variety is the spice of life. Um, then, that was that was pretty much that class. It was, it was by far my favorite English class, and I'm kind of dreading next year just because I know it's not going to be anywhere near similar to what this class was. Anyway, then, the next class that I had exclusive to this semester was web design, and it's pretty much computer coding. If it had the same class, it would have been the exact same. I mean, there was like three kids that actually worked, maybe even two in this one. It was me and Chase, but we actually worked and we did all the projects and we did everything on time, or I did everything on time. He did most of the things on time. I would say that I was, I was a great student. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I did everything on time. I did everything as I was supposed to. And he led us out to go to the cafe. I was actually working most of the time. The other time I'd be vlogging. So it's not like I was slacking off considering I consider this my job, like not like a bad job and not like, oh, I'm getting money from this. So that's the only reason why I do it. But it's like, I feel like I need to do this for myself, and that's why I've been doing it for so long. 
and I just I stuck to this for so long, and I'm so proud of myself. Anyway, I'm I'll, I, I'm spoiling everything for like the final speech thing. Anyway, web design, great class. I I love that teacher. He's great. He was the same as my computer coding teacher, and I sat in the same spot all year long. So I got kind of attached to that seat and area in the classroom. So I mean, it's great. Then. Um, the, the classes I had all year were Algebra 2 Honors, and that class was a gem, wasn't it? I was in that class. At the beginning, it was okay. You know, it's like, if you try really hard, I'm going to get an A. You know, like, you have to try hard. But then, like, it started getting progressively harder, and my grade was just kind of, like, going down. Even, like... Like, closer to the end of the year, I was, like, trying insanely hard. Like, way more than I was at the beginning of the year. And my grades were, like, down below. Then, like, just during... Like, I'm so used to saying, and then we went to this class. I haven't done this kind of vlog in a while. It's it's nice. Um, not as good as my other vlogs, but it's just it's a nice change of pace. Then, um, closer to the end of the year of algebra, I got a tutor. And she insanely helped me. Like... I was actually proud of how I did on the final. Like, I don't have any idea what I got on the final, but I was so proud of how I did it. Like, I didn't really get stuck. Because it's like, oh, instead of doing that, I could just do this and this and this and probably get the same answer. So I have no idea how well I actually did on the final, but I have high hopes. I feel like I did great. I was one of the first two people to finish, and by the first two, I mean the second person. I think I might have been the first person to finish. I just didn't exactly know what to do with the test after I was done. So I just kind of stood there and I was, or sat there and I was like, yep, I'm uh, ready to turn this in, then, just, I keep on saying then, I'm sorry, then, there it is again, after Algebra 2, we have PE, today in PE, we didn't do anything, because we didn't have PE, and I'm just so used to saying that, in PE, it was an adventure, because I didn't want to do PE, like, at the beginning of the year, I was like, oh, I have PE, I don't want to do this, I'm going to have to be active, and I just don't feel like changing every day, and, I mean, I'm not good at sports. If I do it, I'll just end up failing, and then everybody on my team would hate me. You know, that kind of deal. But it wasn't like that at all. Like, for the majority, my PE class was horrible. Like, I know that's not what you thought I was going to say. But for the majority, it was pretty bad. Everybody was just complaining the entire time. Why can't we do this? I want to go outside and we go outside. It's too hot. Why don't we go outside? You know, like, hey, uh, you do realize you're, like, it's extremely hypocritical. And, I don't know, I have a thing or two to say about that classroom, but for the class that was good, it was great. Like, nobody was, like, bad. It was, like, pretty good sportsmanship. Everyone was like, yeah, you did great. And it was like that pretty much the entire year. And then on the days we didn't go outside or do physical activities, we had, like, classes. And those were just, you know, normal. Teacher went up on the board, wrote some stuff down. We had to take notes. We had tests, quizzes. You know, it was pretty much a normal class, except it was just over you know, physical stuff like the body and cuts and abrasions. Abrasions. Yeah. Lacerations, other other various terms. Bruises, scrapes, you know, pretty much that thing. CPR, I do remember that because when somebody dropped a couch on me, couch thing on me. Um, but it was okay because it didn't really... It didn't really hurt that much. And that was PE. It was a pretty good class. It wasn't my favorite, and the teacher was pretty good most of the time. I mean, sometimes when he got annoyed with the class, I mean, it's like I got annoyed too. It's like I wanted him to snap, but he kept us cool a lot of the time. Sometimes he just, you know, fell face down on the floor, and he was like, I give up. And I think I showed a picture of that on here. Time for Bible today, and I am so used to saying that I am deeply sorry. In Bible class, I mean, it was, it was a decent class. It felt too watered down and babyish to me. Like, it was pretty much the same thing. It was, like, pretty much the same thing as a Sunday school class, so take that how you will. And that that was my Bible class for all the year. And then lunch. It was pretty much the same all year. I mean, it was lunch. You eat, talk to your friends most of the time. And that, those are all my classes. Now it's time for the fun part. Ah, oh, yes. This. This part. The part that I go un unedited. I'm just gonna unedit this part, and if I do, it's just me being very silent for a long time. We're just going, um, 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 um. This year of school. I loved it. It was great. I have begun the process of 
breaking out of my shell, which is something that I've been wanting to do for an insane amount of time, like um, a long time, ever since I can remember. I honestly did not expect to finish this whole series. Like, I expected to miss a day or two, and I almost did if it wasn't for like a few other people's like ideas and stuff. Like, one day I just wasn't feeling well at all, and I just was like, I really don't want to make this video. I really don't feel like putting up the camera and just making this video, and they're just like, why don't you just talk? Not have a video, just, just have like a black screen. And so that's what I did, and I mean, I don't know. This means a lot, because this year I made so many new friends this year at school and not at school. I've actually like been invited to group things like going to see Guardians of the Galaxy, going to see Big Hero 6, going to see Age of Ultron. I went to prom. Prom this year was better than prom last year. It just feels like this was a way better version of last year and I mean, I started actually editing the videos. I mean, maybe that's because I got a computer and I could actually afford the time because it only took like 13 minutes to render these videos when on my old laptop it would take I mean, I'm not exaggerating right here. It would take probably around three hours for each of these videos because it's like so, it was so old and slow and it wasn't really made for that kind of program. So, um, it wasn't even really, it was made for iMovie, but even iMovie gave it some struggles. It was, I mean, I, I said I'll edit stuff out, but it's like, I'll, I'll just keep this in. I was going to stop talking and just wait for the garage door to go up and then cut it out, but who cares, you know? It's my video, and I can do what I what, and I can do what I want with it. Um, also, this year I was invited to do in, st in student government. I was invited to be like the video guy, to like film and help set up the tripod and stuff, to and edit the school newsletter things. And sure, we only got three episodes done, and I think only two of them even aired. But it was fun, and I actually really enjoyed being a part of student government, and I know next year they're going to make it way harder to get in, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to be a part of it, but I would love to be a part of it. I'm going to try to be a part of it, and I really enjoyed the Wednesdays that I spent at the school, um, for the most part. There might have been a few days that I didn't really feel like showing up, but it's like, I showed up anyway, and it was always a good time, because it's like, my friends were there. How bad can a time possibly be if you're with your friend, you know? Oh, this year, there were like... There were some great times, and then there were some bad times. There were some times where it's like at school, and I was like, Yeah, I'm going to hug every single person here. I'm going to say hi. I'm going to high-five them all. I'm going to buy everyone some, I don't know, chocolate. Uh, it's going to be great. And then there were some times where it's like, I started crying in the middle of class. And not just math class because of grades, but it's just like just because of stress and just people in general. And it's just, I was wasting my time doing that. Now, I hate to sound like the stereotypical vlogger or YouTuber that's like, think positively, but it's like, here we go, here's the serious part of the video. I mean, it's all been pretty serious, but don't take life too seriously, you know? Like, don't stress over life. Don't spend too much time worrying about various things, you know? Because it's like, if you stress too much about life, you're not going to have anything to stress about because it's already going to be gone. It's short. Live life how you want to. And I've learned that this year by bringing my camera to school and by trying to... I haven't really succeeded in being the most outgoing person. And it's like, I don't really want to be the most outgoing person, but it's like, I want to be outgoing to a point where people are like, hey, look, there's Michael. Hey, Michael, you know, in the hallway, and just like high five or whatever, and just, you know. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I feel like... I don't want to be like that kind of person that just says this so much to where it's like, oh, here we go, here's the enjoy life, you know, part of the video again. But, do it. You know, it's just high school. The drama that happens doesn't matter. The grades matter, but it's like, if you if you fail a test, it's not gonna matter. I'm not saying you, like, fail all your tests and, like, get F's in all the classes, because it's like, no, it's not what I'm talking about. Just don't take it too seriously. There was like about halfway point, I don't even know when this happened, I'm just going to say the halfway point just so I could date it, but it's like it just kind of happened. I became self-aware, and it's like, I don't get caught up in high school drama because it's like, it doesn't matter, you know? You know, I don't want to try to sound like, oh, I'm better than everyone because I don't get caught up in that drama. Like, I'm sure that some people find it fun, I'm sure that some people love it, but I just don't, I stopped caring 
You know, like, there, every once in a while people will get in a fight and it's like, I just don't care. And it's one of the best feelings ever. And anybody who's in high school, anybody, I mean, I guess just life in general, don't take anything way too seriously. It's, don't take anything too seriously. Don't take a game seriously. Don't take videos seriously. Don't take jokes too seriously. Just live life, you know? Don't take it too seriously. Now I sound like the Californian, um... Surfer dude, he's like, dude, bro, live life on the waves and let them take you wherever. I, I don't even know where I'm going with this video. I don't even know where I'm going with this anymore. I just kind of wanted to talk about my senior, senior year, my sophomore year. It was a great year. It had some of the best times of my life. It had one of the worst times in my life. And if you're one of my friends, you know that night very well. Yeah. That was, that was fun. That was not painful at all. Anyway, I mean, I'm going to take my advice and just not care. It's like, I can remember those times. I think those were the times I'm sad. But now I'm happier, you know? Because it's like, I'm glad I went through the sad times. Wow, I'm just really, like, going on and on and on about this, like, crap motivational stuff. I'm not Josh Sundquist. To be honest, I don't even know where I'm going with this video. Have you guys even like continued watching this? I doubt it. But it's like I can't remember what I was gonna say. Without the dark, you can't see the light. I guess is what I was gonna say. So don't take life too seriously. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. That's like the main thing I need to say. Enjoy life. Do what you want to do. If you want to go out and dye your hair, go out and dye your hair. Okay. That was a hint. I'm getting highlights in my hair today, by the way, just as a, just as an extra. Um, yeah. I'm sorry for not editing this video, and that's a little bit more unprofessional, but it's like, I just kind of feel like I had to talk to you. This is the last time I'm going to be making a sophomore video, because, as of right now, I'm not a sophomore anymore. I, I, I would continue being a sophomore until I made this video, but this video, I have now taken off my sophomore badge, and I'm passing it down to someone else. I don't know if you're if you're going into your sophomore year. Here, have it, please. It's great. Enjoy your life. Please take your video camera everywhere and film everything, because you won't regret it, because I'm not regretting it, and just you'll be able to look back on it with so many fond memories, and I just remember, like, so many various things that I wouldn't have remembered if I never made this video series. Anyway, this video has gone on for, like, half an hour. That's too long. I'll see you all soon. I don't have a specific date, but I'll see you all soon with a special announcement. And I'm excited. I'm really excited for this. I'll see you all then. Goodbye. And thank you all for watching. Have fun in your life. Have a great summer. Or winter, depending on what part of the world you're from. Bye. Bye, guys. I know I said that like a million times, and I always, 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 it's a habit I need to break. I always say goodbye and have a million more things I need to say, but this time it's for real. Goodbye, and thanks for watching my sophomore year. Thanks for joining me in this segment of my life. It's been fun. See ya.